Hello, I'm Dr. Brent Gibson, and today I want to talk to you about understanding motor neuropathy. So let me go back a little bit and actually describe this for you. So when you have a peripheral neuropathy, individuals usually often think that it's only a uh, sensory neuropathy, only numbness, tingling, pain, so forth. But the truth is peripheral neuropathy includes a lot more than that. It's not just the sensory type neuropathy. So again, if you think about it, you've got the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is the brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system is all the other nerves in the body. So that could be any anywhere. It could be in the face. It could be in the trunk. It could be in the hands and the feet. Um, all any of those nerves that are malfunctioning can cause a peripheral neuropathy. So when you take the peripheral nervous system, it's broken into two pieces as well. The somatic nervous system, which is the controls a lot of the um, things that we actually physically decide to do, so like muscle motion and sensation and touch and all those kind of things, and the autonomic nervous system, which is the other half, which controls all the automatic functions like the modifying of our heart rate or blood pressure or sweating or the oils released into the skin and so forth. So this is one side, this is the other side. So the idea with um, motor neuropathy, that's one of those pieces of the somatic nervous system. Yeah, the somatic nervous system has sensory and motor. The sensory is the large fiber sensory neuropathy, small fiber sensory neuropathy, and the motor is the motor neuropathy. So what is motor neuropathy? Motor neuropathy is where the nerves that are going to the muscles are malfunctioning, and it can actually lead to a weakening of the muscles. It can lead to cramping. It can lead to uh, losing balance because you just don't have the strength. It can lead to the point where you can say, okay, maybe I can't get up from the floor now with my muscles because the nerves to those muscles aren't working like you're supposed to. So you have a motor neuropathy. And because of that, you have the discomfort and you have the, uh, really the pain even that can come with the, mo the muscles not working like you're supposed to. So how will this affect the mo muscles? Well, with a motor neuropathy, when the signals are not getting to the muscles, it's like taking a muscle and not working it out. So if you were to take your arm and you were to strap it down and not use it for a week, all those muscles would start to go weak because they're not being used. The same thing happens if the nerves to the muscles are not getting signals to them. They will start to weaken. They will start to decrease in size and they start getting some of the cramping and even sometimes pain because the they're being starved for for signal basically. So they're not, they're not being worked out and they start to atrophy. So why is that important? Well, the truth is it becomes a big problem because your nerves are malfunctioning in such a way that they cause a pretty significant change in your life. They could actually go any, go from being just a discomfort in those motors, those muscles to a, uh, distraction that starts to interfere with life to even a true disability where you're not able to do things. You can't go for a walk with your children. But the good news is a lot of the treatments that we do for peripheral neuropathy, a lot of the treatments that are available for peripheral neuropathy can improve the muscle function as well. If, if you improve the blood flow to the nerves, improve the blood flow to the muscles, you could actually improve a motor neuropathy and get back your life and actually be able to function. So motor neuropathy is an important piece of the puzzle that you want to make sure, do I have that piece of the peripheral neuropathy because it needs to be treated as well. This is Dr. Brent Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget Day 201, Motor Neuropathy and Understanding How It's Going to Affect Your Life. Thank you, and have a great rest of your day.